Staying on their setups, not getting off Kenzo at all. has made such a great transition into Street Fighter 5 because he's playing the exact same way he played in Street Fighter 4 already. Just very solid ground game, super fundamentals, and just exactly what you need to have to, to see in Street Fighter 5. Now, as somebody that plays Kami, how do you feel about this match versus Ryu? Um, honestly, at this point, I feel it's almost too early to even st tell about the matchup. Until she gets EX Meter for the EX spir uh, Spiral Drill, it's a little annoying to deal with fireballs, but it's not that big a deal. Great V-Reversal punish. If you think your opponent's going to V-Reversal, Light in a throw will clean beat it every time. Oh, wow. Kenzo really trying just to hold this ground right now, but wow, feels the tempo. Ooh! Yeah, and Kenzo... Kenzo... Oh, I think the names might be mixed up. Yeah, they are mixed yeah, up. Yeah, they'll be there. Oh, but wow. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. That's actually a sm slightly bad habit that Myers has right there, going for that standing medium punch instead of the fierce. Mm. Takes a you know, little less damage, but doesn't really matter. Yeah, it seems like Myers has a general general good feeling on where the jump-ins are coming, like when Fireball is going to happen. Hasn't hit too many, like right there. Hasn't hit too many anti airs, but it hasn't costed him. Ooh. So interesting enough, that actually is uh, My what Myers does to try to actually bait out B reversals. But just, uh, I think he was a little slow on uh, following up with the hooligan. Kenzo feeling the need to jump in. Which is very scary early on. You don't want to give your opponent really any chance to be like, yeah, Ooh. I can jump in against you. Sadly, missed juggle there from Myers. That's what the comeback he needed. Yeah, plus Kenzo just has corner and a very fast fireball. It's absolutely oh, ridiculous God. right now. We're seeing him play with that charge timing a little bit, and but Myers finds his way back in. Yeah. And really, that was all. That was all Kenzo's bad because Kenzo's getting really, 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 really pushy with the fireball game. Like, I understand V trigger, fierce fireball. It's ridiculously fast, mm -hmm. and the way that he used it with the charge to throw off Myers' timing was fantastic. Mm, no problem. Yeah. Uh, but the the issue was with that is that he just went too much and really overextending in this game is absolutely terrible. Yeah, it's interesting. Like you really have to pick your buttons. If you're just doing things haphazardly, blocking's just it's blocking. It's okay. Mm -hmm. No, it's perfectly fine to stand there because if you're standing there, you're looking someone in the eye. He could have been looking Myers in the eye, has him in corner, and is just like, you need to get out. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna whittle you down right here. Round one. Very well said. Let's see if Kenzo can make an adjustment coming into his next round. Meyer's getting a ton of mileage out of his mediums. Oh, and such a great use of cannon strike there as well. That is one big thing that Kami does have is that if you can react to fireball and get over with uh, the can spikes. Yeah, and it's looking like Myers is running away with this one right now. He's not confirming off of all of his hits, but he's guessing so correctly on DP. His footsies are really on point right now. The V skill use is crazy. And the V skill is plus on block. Yeah, crazily enough. I think it's like positive two or something. Something like that, yeah. That sounds very accurate. Yeah, Myers, this running house. Kenzo really needs to just slow it down, chill out. Take Myers out of the air. Myers is getting away with a lot of jump ins. Oh, but now. That, that's a dangerous thing, because that looks like a very desperate man. Oh, great combos. Almost has done there, but now it's fi finally going down for Myers. Mm. Good job just backing up. It's pretty even. Oh, wow. Just the confidence in the, his movement. Yeah, very, very confident. Excellent uppercut. One of the first really important uppercuts, but it's still in the corner. Yeah, and we can see Myers just feels himself offensively. He's just... Never, you know, not even shimmying, just continually going forward. Ooh. Oh, and I think Myers could have gone through that. It's actually really hard. Um, your startup on the can drill doesn't have invincibility fireball. You have to already get going. Ah, uh, okay. gotcha. But yeah, and Myers just takes it, sweeps it up. All right, guys, I'm a. All right, so. Okay. okay, later, everybody. But either way, a really great showing there from Myers. I expect to see him later in the tournament. I know. Uh, Really looking forward to going hard. But looks like we're going to have another NorCal uh, regular here showing off his Street Fighter 5 skills. Hey, hey there, Crackman. How are you doing? Doing fantastic. How are you? How's doing everybody doing tonight? I hope you guys are enjoying this evening of Street Fighter 5 presented to you guys by Mad Cats and Showdown GG. Absolutely. It's an exciting night. I'm already looking forward to seeing everyone just. 
you know, transition to the new game, see what they have. You know, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. Like, if you guys can actually see everybody in the crowd right now, it's a full house on our side. There's, I don't even know how many people there are, and apparently, I don't know if it's been talked about, but the tournament bracket filled up in 10 minutes? Yeah, filled up in about 10 minutes. That is ridiculous. Yeah. Ridiculous. There, I heard that they're, like, they're getting... Uh, one of uh, our regulars, Pan Optic, mm -hmm. got here at five o'clock to wait for the venue, and he was only third in line. Wow, that is crazy! Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is insane. So thanks for everybody coming in tonight. Next up, though, we have Kelvin Gian on the right going against PH Nando, your teammate. Yes, I heard this man has been going a little ham with the Armiga, and then I got a chance to play against his um, what character was it earlier? Doesn't matter. He's going with the Armiga. Or no, the birdie. This will be fun. These 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 two guys are very explosive, young cats. We we should see a really really fun match tonight. Well, I'm just interested to see. You know, we've already saw some great level, uh, top level uh, birdie play from LPN tonight. I mm -hmm. uh, don't know if we've seen any Armika on stream, but just how both these players are tackling these characters and using their tools. Yeah, let's see what they're gonna do going into this match. Is this a button check or okay? They're going straight into it. Mm. That move is positive and blocked. Yeah, very difficult to punish that. In fact, you can't. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, Armika <laughs> has the priority. <laughs> and already he's got the corner position, which is exactly where Armika wants to be. Oh, yeah, especially Birdie with a much more dominant normal. He normally wants to control the ground space much more than this. Mm -hmm. And Nando abusing that fierce early. Oh, great little slide under the Armika's move. Just changes the screen spot. But Nando has a slight lead. Time's not too far back, so... There's a lot of things you can work with. Plus, he has that full stock of butter on that V trigger. Wow. Making great use of the command grab there, but Nando's getting a lot of free jump ins right now. But he is ahead in health, and there's still a lot of time, but there's an opportunity for Nando. He's trying to attack, getting in plus frames. Ooh, Ooh that's going to be nasty. What's the setup here? Oh, no setup. Ooh. That should be it. Finish it off. Yes. Very nice conversion right there from Kelvin Gianna. Go into that V-Trigger, extend that combo. Yeah, every character in this game pretty much always has V-Trigger extensions, but I think Birdie has some of the most damaging V-Trigger extensions. Birdie is scary. <laughs> when he gets the the V-Trigger extensions, it's ridiculous. Well, not, that was a close round for Nano, though. He had the lead there. He had him in the corner. Unfortunately, the final mix-up didn't quite convert. Here we are. Nando is down early here in the second round. Oh, there we go. Kelvin really starting to get those normals out on the ground. Take up space. Oh, great air to air. Okay. That neutral jump really paying off for Kelvin right now. Yeah, right now. Nando wow. is being outspaced, outclassed right now on the ground. Uh, this is what I expected to see when I saw Armika versus Birdie. That is a lot of it. Armika just somehow trying to find the way in. But if she gets in, it's all her game. Yeah, her her ability to mix you up in the corner or just being in the pocket, it, it's she's so strong there, and, and just trying to get out. You take any risk that you take leads to a major conversion, right, off of your health. Well, what makes her so great is that if you guys don't know yet, backdashes in this game aren't invincible at all. Exactly. So therefore, immediate attack on wake up loses. I mean, beats beats backdashing and grants you counter hit. And grant you counter hit as well. On top of that, Armika has a command throw. Yes. So if you don't have a reversal wake up option, which Bree does not have, it's the second you get knocked down, mm -hmm. you're forced to guess hit or throw by and far. Yeah, and let's see if, if Nando has an answer here for Kelvin. Kelvin's been playing very strong that first uh, that first Round game, one. especially in that second round right. where he went on a tear. And Nando had nothing to answer with on the ground. Oh, oh okay. wow. <laughs> the club right there, just smacking Kelvin. Just smack him. Oh, that airlock. forward hard punch is so good from Army. Got positive on block as well. I believe positive three. Just such a good pressure tool. Wow. But with Kelvin as a corner and converting very, very well. Oh, tries to get out and just gets scooped up for his efforts. Near stun as well. Ooh. But the reads. But he's still down. Mm -hmm. And he's going to let that... He's going he's gonna to space it out a little bit because he wanted that stun bar to go down. He didn't want to get hit by another move and just wilt away. Oh, and sadly, just the wake-up throw works out. Ooh. Interesting option there. Oh, but unfortunately, missed times that charge, gets punished, and we're at match point here for Kelvin Gian. Very, very quick rounds here. Kelvin looking very prepared for this particular match. Yeah. 
Nando just having the reads right now, keeping it going. Okay. Yeah, he's got to keep going in though, but that stun bar went down. He's going to have to work for all of that again. He's doing a better job on the ground with controlling the space and not giving it up. We, we saw a lot of times where Nando actually gave up the corner. So much damage! Such great conversions from Nando right now. Oh, there's that crush counter fierce! <laughs> And Nando staying alive in this tournament right now in the winner's bracket. Wow. And he's really showing off the corner pressure that Armika has right now. It's like, when you get some in the corner, That's everything is just in your favor. That's what it's always going to look like if she can control the corner without, you know, uh, giving up the positional switch. Oh, but the reset from Kelvin gets and great damage off to a good start. We saw quite a few of that today. Oh, yeah. tries to go for the grab. Didn't quite get it. Walks him down. A very nice air-to-air -air right there. I yeah. like that a lot. But sadly, still in the corner. He's going to have to eat this incoming mix-up. Oh. Okay. Oh, my God. Nando <laughs> drops the opportunity for a kill combo to take it or to extend the match 1-1. Oh, yeah. I was just waiting there oh. for the, like, the big damage or something, but didn't have it. But this should finish it off. Okay, yeah. Good conversion. What a break. <laughs> <laughs> what a break! That could have ended terribly for Nando right there. With a, you just hate to lose like that, right? Mm -hmm. You have them stunned. You need one more combo, and you give it away, and you're just like, oh my god, I, I'm I'm just the worst. Especially in this game, because one thing I I can love about this game is that every single time it gets back to neutral, you really have to work for that hit again. Absolutely, it, it's not. How do I say it? Oki Fighter 4. Oki Fighter 4. Exactly. And it's one thing like, you know, you might have the opponent down to that final, final hit, mm -hmm. but you still have to find it. And it gets really scary. The fact that you have to earn your victory in this game, and the fact that you have to outplay your opponent in this game, it's a, it's a very powerful message. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and it, I think it really brings out kind of the intensity of the player, right? Like, you can see how clutch they truly are, how how hard they try not to give up. I mean, it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing to see. Well, let's see if Nando can keep riding this momentum, able to find the pressure, or will Kelvin Gion be able to use those normals again and really keep him out? So far, not looking too good. I like the adjustment that Nando has made on the ground. It's been pretty pretty nice. Kelvin trying to push him out. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's going to be really bad. Yeah, you never want to be in the corner of this game. But great read, puts him right back in the corner. What's the mix up? Oh, that command throw. Great, great damage. Oh, just keeps him there in the corner. Hard reach for Nando. This is just really scary. So scary to deal with. Ooh, thought he was going to have the punish there. What's going to happen here? Kelvin still has a ton of meter, and with that V trigger, all he needs is to land one combo, and it'll be it. Oh, oh big chance here. No. Oh, wow. The hard reads, though, from Kelvin are not working out. Really loving that birdie chain. But just lands and does an EX headbutt, which has so much armor when he's in V-Trigger. What a great decision right there to do an empty jump, mask the throw, and go for that. That was fantastic. Nando again with a nice early start, shoving to the corner, in the corner. Oh my god, the mix-up game though, this time Kelvin does jump out of the command grab, makes that space back. Yeah, we've seen Nando have a lot of success pushing Kelvin to the corner. In that second game, we saw the control in this third game so far being challenged. And you know what? Really calling uh, Nando out. Those ES command grabs from Birdie start up in five frames, so really call, you know, calling Nando out for putting those big gaps in his pressure. Absolutely. Nando has a chance right here, but will Kelvin seal it here in game three? Oh, and he does. Kelvin, two games to one in a convincing final round against Nando. Just smart but impressing, keeping Nando out. Yeah, and I, I like in all three games we saw major adjustments happening from both players, right? Where I don't know if it was intentional by Kelvin. I think I, I certainly hope it was. <laughs> but when when he goes for when when Nando made some mistakes, we saw like one or two positional switches, right? Where he's in the corner. This is a dire situation. He gets out, mm -hmm. and then everything turns around. All of that momentum flips immediately as, as soon as you lose that position. Yeah, that was one of the interesting things. Like, we saw Nando, uh, when you get that juggle stay off the forward hard punch arm Armika, mm -hmm. you actually don't have to follow up with her, uh, her like, anti-air leg move. I'm not sure what to call that move yet. 
Uh, or the guacamole sure. legs. Guacamole <laughs> legs. Anyway, <laughs> because when you hit that, it gets the corn. But anyway, we're going to see another birdie player coming up right here. Uh, Pavo has been playing birdie and Armika, so we'll Absolutely. see which one he uses. And he'll be going up against a, another one of my teammates, PH Jame, who is, I think, going to play Ken. Mm. Pretty sure he's going to play Ken. I know that when Ken came out, he was super excited. He's always been a Ken lover. And yeah, yeah there it is. There's the Ken pick. He's an absolute Ken lover. Yeah. Reminds me of a certain individual from Southern California. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> <laughs> really looking forward to this match. I personally would say Pavo is one of my top picks for actually going all the way tonight. Yeah, no, he, this, is, this is a pretty good pick for going all the way tonight. Um, I think LPN is oh, also another mm -hmm. top pick. Um, it'll be interesting to see how, how that uh, turns out. Okay. Oh my god, and Pavo hard reads right from the start, just gets going. Let's see if he can do a better job at controlling that corner. Because if he can, I think this is going to be very, very bad news for Ken. Oh wow, what a reaction. I like that a lot. Alright, gets out of the corner. But oh, sadly puts him right back in for a huge punish as well. Yeah, that's a huge error. And now he's, he's just trying to force his way out a little bit too much. Yeah, that corner position is really hurting Ken right now. James doesn't have an answer. It really is. James just oh, has a small opportunity, but doesn't get it. And you know what? Pablo's just playing smart. He's not making any big risky forward moves. He knows he has a life lead. Just playing behind the lights and the mediums. Yeah, unfortunately right there, he ends up whiffing the slide and gets punished for it. And now James, in V-Trigger mode, can take this back to take the first round. Oh my god, the comeback is real. Pablo slowly working his way back. A timeout is very much possible here. Instead, mm. he just runs in and crouching medium punches. I don't think Pavo was expecting that. I don't think so at all. James Did just really called the pacing there a little bit a couple times and just got the button presses in. Did Pavo use EX earlier when he when he got when he cut when he got um, KO'd in that first round? I'm not positive. Yeah, I'm not positive either. It's all good though. Pavo making up for that performance in that first round. Yeah, off to, off again once there's a strong start, but you know. Phoenix James can bring this right back, just like last time. Yeah, Ken, a very offensive monster in this game. Much more than capable of bringing it all back. And he's already starting to do it. Yeah, it's such a terrible start. Oh, that's going to be a lot of damage right here. Oh, that was fantastic. And just bit it all. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the big things right here is that I think we've seen Pablo drop a tiny bit of damage, but PS James so far, there's a crush counter that we saw that he dropped a little damage on, and I think one other combo. It That's was twice. Um, it was, uh, I think it was Fierce Crush Counter and then Roundhouse Crush Counter. I know, that's a lot of damage left on the table, especially after Crush Counters. Right now, a little bit even on the neutral game. Nobody able to really... Oh! oh. What a, what a cross-up! That was sick! Never seen that one before. That was very cool stuff. And that netted him a ton of damage. Pavel trying to re re regain that. Full V-Trigger, full Surfer. What's going to happen? Oh, jump in! huge jump in. And now he has the corner. Oh my gosh, that was... I didn't know that worked. A very cool use of the reversal. Use that invincibility frames to get out of the mix-up from Armika. Very, very intelligent. I'm stealing that. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, protecting his airspace. Pavacala, though, is sitting on that full stick of butter. Both players right now playing very patiently. But one player with a full stick of butter, the other one now with none. We saw Pablo just charged up his next throw. I was going to say, unless he gets hit, in which case it goes away. Yeah. Here's James' last good throw there will steal the round. The good news was that even though he didn't have a full stick of butter, he still had two bars of V-Trigger, which gives him two more opportunities for V-Reversals. Mm -hmm. So if, if Pablo hadn't had gotten in and wasn't going for command grabs, and he actually was like delaying like jabs, shorts, mediums, could have gotten pushed out, back into the neutral. Mm -hmm. Now you have to work your way back in, right? And that's that's another part of the meta that hasn't really been... Um, it hasn't been explored or... Established even yet. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's one of the great things we're seeing, like, especially characters that have that three bars of V-Trigger versus two, mm -hmm. using the V-Reversals more against characters like Armika or characters that really want to be in your face. Exactly. You have to ask yourself the question too, right? If the other opponent has a full stock of butter, especially a super, right, which, is, which can chip you, do you want to be defensive with your V trigger, or would you rather be offensive with it and try to stage a comeback, mm -hmm. and but risk getting chipped? You know, that's that's also 
the part of the uh, the metagame in, in Street Fighter Five. Yeah, it's a very interesting one. Wow, Pavo just going for it. And decide to stick with Armiga. Great conversion right there from James, pushing him out with that. Great oh. throw. Still looking very strong right now. Pavo needs to find a different uh, note here in the neutral. And oh my god, there's just the butt slam. Th there was your answer right there. You asked for it, you got it. Oh, and that's a sadly bad view reversal. Could have punished if he just walked it through. Yeah, that's a great conversion right there from James to bait out that stand tank. And this is another um, unique tactic that works better in this game in comparison to Street Fighter 4, the neutral jump. Mm. Neutral jumps and shimmies are actually very powerful tools in this game. Oh, especially the shimmy. Mm -hmm. So good at baiting out, especially just uh, throws in general. Absolutely. And some characters are better at it than other characters. Like, let's say, like, Chun-Li's neutral jump, like, so floaty, wouldn't work at all. Great finish to that round. James now at match point. Avocado's going to need to make some adjustments here. What's going to happen? I'm not sure. I mean, this is, I wouldn't say su surprising, but Pavo not looking nearly as strong as was expected. Oh, and then just uh, stops blocking, sadly. That's, that's disheartening. And that's, when you're trying to get momentum and that happens, that, that, that attacks you mentally, psychologically. And PHM's really just going to that V-reversal just to keep Pavo off. Yeah. Anytime he blocks anything to say, no, go away, Armiga. But that's the smart play. That's the play that you should be making. So that little uh, slam right there in the air was trying to bait out an uppercut. Yeah. Changing his jump trajectory and hopefully, uh, you know, baiting out. It didn't happen that time, but that's you know, a read. I am seeing something here that I think Pavo is having a difficult time trying to read that run. Because he keeps eating either... He either ate a lot of throws after the run, or he started to take it a, a little bit too much, and now he's going to eat this. He's reading that positioning and trying to read, like, three different things, I think. Oh, my God, that crook bar is so beautiful. Man, man, oh, man, oh, man. I am a little bit surprised with this, and yet I'm not. P.H. James playing very strong, playing well, and taking out someone that might be considered one of the better NorCal in the moment. I mean, right now... I guess we didn't know. I guess it's BH Jame there. Hey. Yeah, you just don't know. Making the you, statement. You just, you just never know, man. You know, speaking about people that I'm really interested to see uh, how they perform. Coming up next, we're going to... Wait. Oh, it's 1-1. One, one. Wait, no. Yeah, yeah. We're moving right in here. Okay, yes. We're going to have Filipino champ playing the Dalsim. Yes. Against Forwood, a.k.a. Adil, a.k.a. the guy that owns this play leg. That guy. That guy. <laughs> So I've, I had a chance to play a deal at, uh, at a Capcom Cup. He had a very strong Ryu. I really liked it. Um, I, don't know, I don't know anybody that really has experience besides Capcom <laughs> against Delsim. <laughs> so yeah. it'll be interesting to see if he knows a little bit about this or if he's going to make adjustments on the fly. It's going to be interesting to see. Dalton is definitely one of the characters that has had the least exposure so far. Absolutely. And of course, Filipino champ being the original NorCal Dalton, definitely going to be playing him. Now, Ryu still very strong in this version. Uh, you're already seeing those standing medium punches, great buttons for frame traps, and has F champ very close to stun. That's a great way by Filipino champ. Waited for the uh, neutral jump and then anti-aired with the jab. That's a lot of damage. That's all that great life. But still has him in the corner, right where he wants him. Hmm, makes some space, though. Oh, very nice conversion right there. Take those trades all day and all. Just challenge the fireball. Great job from F champ. It was a nice timing and a nice positioning for that standing fierce. Perfect, in fact. Yeah, I don't know if that move's punishable or not yet. I don't know if that was an advantage date. I forgot what move it was. <laughs> <laughs> he explained from Dalsim. Mm -hmm. I, I would guess that I, I messed around with it a little bit during beta. And I, and I don't know if it's... I don't think it's punishable, but it might be minus. It might be. I'm not sure. Don't mark my word for it. All right, well, let's just see if we can keep this screen space. It worked out well for him last round, but... F-Champ is being kind of slippery. Oh, my God. Nice conversion right there. Baits the throw with the shimmy. Yeah, punishing that sweep there from forward. Yeah, opting not to deal with losing that great life and risk losing more than what you want. Yeah, last round I lost him a lot of that health. What's that champ though here? looks very comfortable just at this long range game. And oh wow, great use of that fierce. 
here, here's a question here when you're when you're down like this. Do you want to hit into a V trigger or do you want to use V trigger from full screen? And he's gonna looks like he was trying to get in. Just get a block string into V trigger. Didn't quite work out. Filipino champ reacting to his uh, aggression he takes the game one. And it's a very hard question that people are gonna be asking themselves more and more as Free Fire Five develops. You know. Do I just activate to get that buff that I need with Rio and get the fast fireball and everything else? Exactly. Or it lets you make a ri riskier read offensively, you know? Just do a random uh, crouch pierce in the V trigger or things like that. And neither is a bad choice. It honestly just depends on your play style. Does it cater to the matchup, to the player? Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of questions to be asked. So don't think of any of those um, options are wrong. Maybe we might have missed another option. Oh, fact. yeah. You know what I mean? This game is still very much so being explored. Yeah, it, everybody's still trying to figure it out. It's it's fun to be dis rediscovering how to play a new game again. <laughs> exactly, I'm right there with you. That's that's something that I have to, to say is like the best thing about about this so far, the rediscovery. Fight. Well, that's a max range sweep. I wonder if that was positive or minus, or yeah. not minus and not punishable. Very interesting to see. But so far, just I'm loving the normals that F Champ is uh, picking. Getting to see just how adult is being able to control the space uh, in Street Fighter Five. Absolutely. So far, we're seeing that slide, a very great tool on Dalsim. Be just, you know, gain out of the airspace under really for you, or just taking up space like that, canceled into V trigger. Yep. Yep. Oh, great wow. anti-air right there. He's got the corner. But it's not Dalsim in Street Fighter 4 where this position is actually much more beneficial. It, it's, and it's because of the fireball. The fireball doesn't go straight, so you can't just control the ground and the air at the same time. Exactly. Okay, get something going. Oh, great blocking though from F-Champ. Alright, just uses it. Ooh, and four, we're choosing to just activate the V-Trigger, making that choice. Oh, oh! What a jump Tatsu! Uh, but that's punishable, and F Champ has the punish ready. I thought he th did a lot of fantastic things up until the point where he sweeps. And now he's in a very dire situation. 20 seconds left on the clock here. Are we going to see our first potential timeout in Street Fighter V this tournament? It's, it's Champ. Oh. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, when you have that life lead, the time's running down, he played it right. He played smart, and finally we just, you know, forced forward to, to walk into a button. And great patience with Filipino champ to just... He's always been patient. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> and he's really showing uh, off Dalsim's options around the fireball. Be it Sly, be it the Fierce. Oh, great, great stuff. I'm very curious if you can get the later active frames of Sly to hit. That way you're left in a different position where you're actually less minus or even plus. Another move I'm still unfamiliar with, we're seeing, you know, this the dive kicks from Dolls uh, F champ there. Yeah. And I just assume that if you're, you know, you're hitting the toes, it's normally a good thing. Mm -hmm. And he can actually um, do his, uh, dive, it's like a dive kick, right? He can do it really, really low. Oh, oh another no. sweep. That's not the way you want to do it. Okay, now he has nothing left. Yeah. I, I think unless he attacks and gets in. I mean, that's what's going down to. He has to get his offense going, and uh, Sally just trades, and that will be it. I believe that's 2-1, 2-0 uh, for F-Champ. Yeah, that's 2-0 for Filipino no. Champ. Wow. Winning in typical Filipino Champ fashion. With Dawson. <laughs> yes. And patience. Mm -hmm. And zoning. Nothing fancy. No, Nothing flashy. Really smart, fundamental stuff. Mm -hmm. And once again, just rewarding people in Street Fighter Five for playing the smart game. Yeah. I'm... Man, I can't, I can't express how happy I am. You actually have to be smart <laughs> to win in this game. Well, speaking of people that I've gotten a lot of uh, 